Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to share with you my exact steps about creating the book cover design for my composition notebook using Canva. Okay, so I generally use Canva for creating my book interiors as well as book cover design. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the exact steps that I follow in order to create the composition notebook cover design. So the different steps that we're going to go through in this video is theme selection. Okay, so what would be the theme for my composition notebook? Then the homework that I have done for creating this composition notebook cover design. And then finally, we'll be creating book cover design in Canva. Okay, so make sure that you watch the video till the end. All right, so let's first talk about theme selection. And for this composition notebook, the theme that I have selected is ice cream composition notebook. Okay, so the way I have kind of come up to this particular ice cream composition notebook is I was just kind of going through the different design templates or uh, whatever the material that is available in Canva. And I found a cute little nice design about ice cream. And then I went up to amazon.com and I was searching for ice cream composition notebook and here it came with around 4,000 results. Now 4,000 results are pretty high if we have to kind of uh, consider creating a book about that. But what I feel is as a new beginner, any niche is a good niche unless and until you haven't experienced that niche. And for me, even if I'll be making even a single sale out of this composition notebook, it would be kind of a big achievement for me. So 4,000 results, yeah, the number is big, but for a beginner like me, I'll still consider it as okay. And this number is not something that I every time kind of goes with, but what I generally do is that if I feel like creating a book, then I just generally don't uh, take a look and consider more about the number of results that has come up. But what I try to focus on is try to get the experience so that uh, I feel that getting the experience is must. And uh, based on that experience, you know, I'll be able to kind of take good decisions going forward. So even if this book will sell or not sell, or even if it will make a single sale, that would be good for me. So with completely that assumption in mind, I am proceeding ahead. And I can see over here is that this book is kind of a doing good, but it was published in 2019. Oh, so it was long back, but still it is doing good. Then this book, it was published in July 2021, not long ago. It's just a month back and it has a kind of a sold a copy of it. So that's the reason the PSR is showing up over here. Then this one, this is a pretty nice one. The book cover is good. And this was also published in July second 2021 and it is around 439 179 so it's a good psr i'll say and then rest of the other books are kind of uh, not even sold a single copy but that's fine and here are some sponsored products so i'm not going to click on them because if i click on them so they'll be charged so as i'm not interested to buy at this moment so and i'm just doing the niche research so i'll not click on them and by the way this is a very nice book I probably might think about creating such a book maybe in future but uh, yeah it was pretty nice and yeah these are all the books and they are kind of uh, not sold these are about specifically about ice cream theme and there are few sponsored products those are coming and they have pretty low bsr but that's fine so this was pretty enough for me in order to kind of get started with creating a composition notebook Okay, so what I'm going to do next, and the battery is running low for my laptop, so let me just plug in the charger. All right, so I have plugged in the charger, and now I'm all set to get started with creating the composition notebook cover. So let's come to our agenda. 
Okay, so homework that I was talking about. So I already have kind of uh, decided that I'm going to create a 200 pages composition notebook. Now for 200 pages composition notebook, what would be the book cover size? And for getting the book cover size right, I have kind of identified a special trick that I generally follow. And for that, I have created a video as well. And I'll put the link of that particular video in the description box. So I'll suggest you to go through that video. So you'll come to know that how exactly I decide uh, the book cover size. And the book cover size for, for a composition notebook for 200 pages is 15.7 into 9.5. Okay, so 15.7 inches wide and 9.5 inches long. And this is going to be with bleed. Okay, and then next thing is, finally, we are going to create the cover design. So let's now go to Canva and take a look at how I'm going to create my book cover design in Canva. So here at Create a design, I have specified the dimensions, clicking on create new design. Now, whenever I have to kind of get the inspiration about creating the book, so I generally go to the different material that is available on Canva and uh, I take inspiration from that and uh, create my book cover design. And over here, when I was going through some of the posters available in Canva, and uh, from where I got the idea about creating this ice cream composition notebook, so I found this little ice cream cup, pretty decent. So I thought that I probably will use that for creating my composition notebook cover. So what I'm going to do next is, here we have got the blank design, and this would be our front cover, and this would be our back cover. So the next thing that I have to do is that I have to kind of, uh, have the spine area. So for that, I'm going to search for grid in the elements. And this is how it equally distributes the whole blank design into two parts. This is front cover, this is back cover. And I'll be searching for shape. So I just want to take this one. And it should be in the center here. Yeah, it is center aligned. And here is here as well and here as well looks pretty good okay let's now remove this grid so we have this part available and next thing that i just do is this will be the place where i'll be writing composition notebook as well as we'll be having some empty spaces so that your user can write the name as well over here so this is okay now, let me copy this. So I'm going to put it over here. Oh, it's just a single one, but not a single one that we can use. So I'm going to reduce its size. Does it fit good over here? Yeah, it looks decent. Yeah, very nice. So what I'm just going to do is that I'll, I'm just going to create a bunch of that. Okay, so I created three. Let me copy and put it over here. Looks too near to each other. Probably I'll have to add some more spaces in between. Yeah, looks good. I'll send it back. I'll send it back. I'll send it back. Oh, that isn't anything to send back. Let's see, all of them are in the same line. Yeah, they are in the same line. I'll put it down, I guess. Yeah. Again, I'll just copy paste. Aligned them. We're here. Looks 
decent. Yep, and we are almost there. Yep. And what I just do is that let's put it over here. Just in order to make sure that it is coming up over there. I'll remove this, 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 this one, this one, this one. So what I feel is that I should have kind of uh, kept them left aligned. Yeah, this looks good, I guess. And the color. Let's let me think about color. The center color definitely. I'm going to use this nice pink color. Okay, so over here it is. And then this color, I'm pretty much not sure which one I should use. So let me just try with this. Looks decent. What about this? Oh, it's too dark. But let me just try the lighter variant of it. Yeah, this looks awesome, I guess. And over here, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll be using the same color, pink. Then next thing that I'm going to do is I'll have another shape and I'll use white color for that. So that we can have a kind of a little space where we'll write about our notebook. Yeah, so it is fitting that pretty good. Let me take some text now. What I'm going to add is where is it? Okay. Composition notebook. Okay, and let me make it bold. Okay, so next thing that I have to do is select good font about it. So let me just go to this, go to corporate font. And does this look good? Yeah, it seems to be. Or what about extra bold? Or oh, it's too bold, I guess. But uh, let me just check for another font. Yeah, Mozart Classic is something that I always like. So, I'll, I'll use that. And instead of composition notebook, a single space, I'll just think about it, whether I should have it in two lines or single should be fine. I guess it, it would be okay. Composition notebook. Yeah, sounds good. Will not have bold. Yes, then Next thing that I'm going to do is I'll have to add line. So I'll select line. It's too long. I'll have to make it shorter. We'll keep it over here. It's too dark. So line weight, I'm going to make it three. Let's see how it looks like now. Or I'll use this one only. And the color that I'm going to use for that is this. Or well, let's keep it black only. Okay. And another text that I'm going to write over here is 200 pages.
and I'll make the font very low for this. Next information that I'll write over here is that whether it's going to be a college ruled or white ruled. So I'll just put it as college ruled. 200 pages. And this uh, doesn't look that great. So I'll just change this color to a lighter one. And the lighter one looks pretty decent. This one as well, let me just see if I use this. Does it look good? I guess this looks good instead of black. I should use this color. And what I'll just do next is I'll just copy everything and put it over here. Oh, it didn't go well. So what I just do, I just select everything this way manually. And if you are still there in the video, I really appreciate that. I really appreciate your patience. And you have a long way to go in KDP, I say. And as you are still there, so what I'll suggest is that do hit that subscribe button so that whenever I'll be publishing any next videos, you'll get the notification. And if you're liking the video, make sure that you hit that like button as well. Okay, so I have created the back of my, oops, not that, control C, control V. Yes, so my book cover design is absolutely ready. And now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to download it. So it's finally my book cover design for 200 pages college ruled composition notebook for ice cream composition notebook has been ready. So I hope you have got the overall idea about how I'm creating my book cover designs using Canva. Have I forgotten anything? I think I forgot to one thing. I should have kind of uh, clicked on show print plate. Yes, and then I, I should have downloaded this. So the earlier one, that was not the right way to do it because I wanted to have a kind of a print plate. So from Canva, we have to add it. So now this is going to be the perfect that whenever I'll be publishing uh, with the bleed option is selected one. So this book cover will perfectly go with it. Yeah, so with that said, I'll conclude this video over here and I hope you like the design. Let me know your thoughts about the design, whether it was good or bad or uh, how was it? So thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for your time.